from Eichert U.S. Ignite. In your example uh, where you did the hand composition, you had to go and change your priority and inserted the high and white and so forth. Right. How does, how, give us some insight as to how Frenetic, uh, you know, approaches this in a more uh, hidden automatic manner. Ah, that's a great question. So basically what we do here is we recognize that the rule that the monitor wants is more specific than the rule that the repeater is installing. So, so for example, if you look here, we're installing something here that cares not only about what port you came in on, but also what, what uh, TCP port the traffic is coming in on. So we can, we can look at those kind of nesting relationships and essentially do a cross product. In this case, one isn't contained by the other, so it's a little simpler than a cross product. But we're essentially doing analysis in a multidimensional lattice space, if you will, of these, of these different uh, bits. Actually, not unlike what Nick McEwen was talking about in his talk. We essentially view uh, points in a lattice space, and we can reason about the, the shapes of these multidimensional blocks and make sure we don't have situations where one rule is shadowed by another because a rule that is broader in scope is higher priority than it. Yeah. Question on the left. Uh, Bob Lance, I worked on, on Mininet, and I, I have more of a comment, which is that, that uh, to sort of validate this, that I found the same thing to be true in, uh, in Mininet, that really the API is what matters, that enabling people to easily write applications is really what is really uh, sort of what's most important in software-defined networking, and to sort of unify what you and Scott said, uh, it's the, those abstractions are, are very nice to talk about, but they don't, they don't actually enable anything until you have a nice, usable, wonderful API, and I just want to commend you and, and, uh, and really uh, <clears throat> you know, say that anybody who wants to create great, great APIs, uh, you know, please do so, because that's really what's going to make the, the SDN app store have 100,000 great network apps. <laughs> <laughs> Completely agree. All right, let's thank Jennifer. Thank you.